unbelievable. To you too. Good morning. I love you. It is 3.29 right now. And we have a flight coming up. We're going back to Cincinnati to see Lynn's family. But we went to sleep at 1.30 a.m. And we, we just woke up 30 minutes ago. So us waking up, whoops, we don't have the code. So we barely slept. As you can tell, Lynn is also very, very cranky right now. And I'm gonna hit a workout. Like I told myself that I'm gonna do for about 30 to 40 minutes, I'm gonna do a full body workout. And then after that, uh, we're gonna go to the plane and that's when I know I'm gonna be tired and I'm gonna fall asleep because there's a reason why I chose to work out right now because first of all I told myself I'm going to do that The reason why I chose to go to the gym this early is because I told myself that if I do do it, I'm going to be able to fall asleep, first of all, easier on the plane. But second of all, I love starting every single day of my life with a gym session, whether it's running, cardio, or some type of workout. And today is not a different day. Today is the same day. Even though I barely got any sleep today, it doesn't matter because it's a new day and the plus bonus is that I'm going to get tired so that's amazing that is a wrap up for today I'm going to record some videos and let's have a good day of just traveling <laughs> We are done with the stretches right now and I try to stretch every single day even if I don't feel like it because I know I'm getting older and I'm not going to be the same anymore and also it's not a good thing that to hear that little crack especially if you're doing arms or any kinds of workouts that require you to stretch so I try to stretch take care of my body do some breathings in the morning and then after that it is time to crush it Open, I could walk right in Ooh, but it's so much harder than it sounds I know it's closing if I just stand still Cause you won't wait forever So just hear me out It is not like I don't want you Just get to the track Even if the odds are in my favor I just need more time So if you wait just a little bit longer I will treat you right Treat you right very excited about this trip and you know last time I was traveling I was 35 pounds heavier so today going into this travel I'm gonna make better decisions when it comes to eating food and the types of food that I'm gonna eat at Lynn's family 
but at this, also at the same time, whenever I'm traveling, I used to eat all that junk food and with seed oils. So that's the one thing I'm trying to cut out, even if I really want the McDonald's or the Chick-fil-A. I'm trying to be as healthy as I can so I can feel good all the time and not only when I'm home here in San Diego. 30, 35 minutes of morning workout. We did kind of full body, four to five exercises. I feel good, finished with some running. I did about a mile of running. And yeah, 404 right now. I'm excited. It is time to shower, get a protein shake, and then head to the airport. And look who's here, hi Donna, hi baby. Hello, hello. Yes. Okay, say goodbye to the Christmas tree. Let's go. Decided to go on our first flight with Nala. Yeah. Yeah, 16 I know. Sixteen weeks pregnant. Sixteen weeks pregnant. Who are you? This is my girl. Oh. Nala. She's sleeping. No. Okay, let's go, Nala. You ready, babies? Okay, I'll go get the stuff. Oi. I got it. You have social media? Yeah, I do social media here and there. I'm gonna take this with me. So Beba, today's video is about staying healthy while you're traveling. What are some tips that you have for staying healthy and getting shit done? while traveling? Starbucks. Starbucks? Coffee. Cold brew. Yeah, that's why we were so opposite. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> Honey, how was the flight? I did not sleep any at all. I'm so tired. Cannot wait to have some steak. Can you show me Nana? He's smiling. Nana. Nana. So we just landed here in Cincinnati. Flight was pretty pretty tough, but I did stand up throughout the flight to make things easier. And then we do have the little one here. Let me see her. Woo! Hi babies. Baba, have you noticed that airports don't have good quality foods? It's all like nasty and seed oils and all that stuff. Cause they try to make you eat that food. So then you get unhealthy and then you need medicine. And that's why treatment. treatment and healthcare and all that stuff, especially in America. But the decent food, or like the healthier-ish options are Yeah, cause I got, I got a protein shake for five bucks. And that was a big bag and like things that you could have bought for five bucks too. So it doesn't really make sense. But that is why you pay a little bit more for healthier foods, right? Right. And that's what we're gonna try to do. We're gonna spend more money we're gonna go to Costco tomorrow and we're gonna get healthy foods. Protein shakes, steaks, and all that stuff. And then that is another thing that I do while I try to travel and go places is just eat as much as I can unprocessed foods, especially with sugar. But here and there, of course, we can eat and like have a good time, you know, have some pasta, chicken, all that stuff and some eggs 
and some uh, what's it called the the birds with the Nutella inside. Some good stuff. <laughs> that we're looking at is weird on that. Honestly, I don't care because yeah, I am vlogging and it is a pretty big camera. But if you think about it, I watched a quote and that made me very very comfortable vlogging anytime I want to go to and do it. And that and he the guy said in a hundred years you're gonna be gone and most likely people will not remember who you are there's probably gonna be a picture of you somewhere on somebody's balcony or somebody's like kitchen or living room but you will not be here anymore so whatever you do here right now is whatever you should want to do and just think about yourself and others you shouldn't be living the life of other people's perspective like you shouldn't be living other people's lives you should be living whatever you want to live and that's why I got this camera. We got this puppy too. And that's how we just... No, I had to convince him for over a year <laughs> to get a puppy. <laughs> and I picked her out and she loves him more than me. Yeah, she loves cuddling with me because I'm warm. I'm big. You're big. <laughs> Going through Cincinnati. Also, Bebe, we're drinking this once in a while, but what do we not drink usually? Water and plastic bottles. Yeah, because water and plastic bottles... So, fun fact. Water and plastic bottles, I don't know if you know this, Bebe, but they preheat the water really, really warm. Wow. And because they want the plastic uh, parts to get into the water. Because it's cheaper and also to make you sicker. So that's why we always try to get glass water. The plastic counts into water. Well, it, it's plastic is cheaper overall. Glass is more expensive. That's why glass bottle waters are more expensive and healthier. Also, I'm gonna go record this right now and say I'm gonna try to do three cardio sessions every single week, running. It, it could be all of them at once or just one of them running, swimming, and biking. But I really need to take this to the next step because something else well those are the three things and then maybe jiu jitsu or like boxing just try those out oh, I found you. Yep, ours. So we have made it to Ohio, actually here in Cincinnati. We're gonna be staying at Lynn's place, at their family's place. Nala, you wanna come? At her parents' place. Nala, you wanna say hi? And I'm actually pretty proud of myself. And you would be too, Bebe, because I didn't eat anything junk food, anything that's not healthy. When I was at the airport, I actually also had a protein shake over there. It was five and a half bucks, which is pretty expensive, but it's worth it. Didn't have any of the Popeyes that everybody had over there. And that's kind of what we are excited about, to go to Costco tomorrow, get some steak, Pellegrino water. What else, baby? Protein shakes? Protein shakes, fruit. A pre-workout too, vegetables. so the vegetables too. So we're gonna lay down, cuddle. We're gonna watch a movie tonight. Yeah, let's watch a movie. Yeah, let's watch a movie, and then I'll see you guys next time here with Nala. That's Vidania. <laughs>